So here's my gable vent up in my attic. We're looking to save some money on cooling costs this summer since it's blazingly hot. And one place to get blazingly hot is the attic. So we're going to install a, an attic fan. Um, so here's the uh, here's the gable vent. When I'm all done, I'll, I'll uh, build a frame around it and stick a little cutout with the with the fan on to uh, facilitate the cooling. Um, so I'm gonna be building a a uh, cross piece that goes this way. Then I have another piece that goes up here to frame in the the gable vent so that the uh, the fan completely encases it and will only blow out no air coming back in so I'll uh, get down to that and after much deliberation we're done um, so I just I just nailed that way on the vertical studs and then tacked down on each corner or on each edge there so that'll sit nicely in place uh, it doesn't need to be doubled over like I have it. I just had to cut up those extra pieces of wood so I wouldn't have them laying around. Um, so next I need to I need to build an upright here to complete the frame. You'll see over here that's about the gap that I want so I'll create an equal gap over there. So then we just have the gable vent in the middle and then the fan will blow out the vent. So get working on that. Alright, so here is the gable framed up. Let me see if I can get a head-on shot. It's hard to see because there's some rafters in the way. Uh, but anyway, so I've got two pieces on either side. That's just, it's not obviously it's not for structural support. It's uh, so I can have more of a piece of wood to bite onto when I put on my mounting, when I mount the fan up on the wall. So, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I took my measurements, and now I'm going to go get my piece of plywood. Uh, my fan is 15 inches in diameter. The opening that way is 19, and it's 20 up, so be pretty good. Even fit. Um, so, I'll show you that one when I get to it. Alright, can't see this very well. Uh, so there's my piece. Uh, I just cut it out of a piece of scrap plywood I had. And I've traced out where the frame is going to be on this piece of wood. Um, so up here is where the, the header will be. Here's the sides, here's the bottom, etc. Um, so now I think all I'm going to do is take my fan, this in here, it's uh, this particular fan, a brown 1600 CFM gable mount powered attic ventilator. So you can get it on Amazon for about 120, 130. As of the time of this, um, so I'm just gonna put my fan on there and see what looks good. Try to center it up. Doesn't need to be exact because I don't think it is an exact thing. And that looks good. And now I'll just trace around it because I've got to cut this out with a jigsaw. And there we go. There's where we'll sit. So I'll get that cut out, get the fan mounted onto it. So here is the cutout on the uh, piece of plywood. And I flipped it around because that other section, so this will be the, this will be the side facing the the gable vent and around all these areas that are going to touch the uh, the wood I'm going to put some weather stripping to cushion this and help dampen any vibration from the fan. Uh, so here is the fan. I added the mounting brackets onto it now and I need to be careful because I have one of these sides as the top. So it'll this side. So I want my electrical control to not be up there. I want it to be down facing the floor uh, so I can access it. 
So anyway, this will just sit in there a little bit recessed. And then I'll get these uh, I'll get these brackets screwed in. Got some rubber washers to put in there too. Um, help dampen more vibration. Because uh, that seems to be the one, number one thing people complain about if they are installing attic fans is that oh, this thing made a ton of racket or it vibrated everything. And I'm sure a lot of that stuff can be mitigated if you just take care to uh, try to reduce the vibrations from the fan. So I'll get back to you when I got those things in place. Alright, so here's the fan all mounted up to that piece of uh, plywood. So I just used two bolts here, small bolts, and a screw because I didn't have enough bolts to do three on each of these. Um, and I use lock washers on the other side. And if you can see here, I don't know if you can, but there are rubber washers in there. Uh, so now I'm going to flip this over and I will put on this lovely weather stripping. Got it from the dollar store. So hopefully I'll get my two dollars worth out of it. So here is the fan mount all weather stripped up. Um, the weather stripping turned out to be not as bad as I would have thought dollar store quality weather stripping would be. Um, it's nice and spongy, which should make a good seal. Um, Although you can see I had to put a bunch of staples in because it is not sticky. So that's probably why it was at the dollar store. Um, but I just put it all the way around, made sure that I had some on each edge, and then the, uh, the portion uh, where the wood was going to be, I got some on there too. Um, if I flip this over, you'll see what else I did. Uh, but you can see I put tape all the way around here to seal up the, that, uh, that little gap. You can see that there's a little gap there uh, where the fan doesn't meet up completely with the the, uh, the plywood, which is fine. So I just used some tape, some duct tape I had laying around, sealed up all those little edges, sealed up the places where the brackets were because those would let air in too. So I just wanted to kind of create an air seal uh, so that the only place that air is going to be moving is through this fan. So, um, I've got that done. Next I'll be mounting this up on, the, uh, on that frame up in the attic over the gable vent. So here's where I'm going to mount the fan. I added this little lip here so I can mount this all by myself. Since I don't have a helper at the moment who can lift it up with me. So I'll get that up there and start screwing it in and show you what it looks like. So here is the fan all mounted to the, the wall and in front of the gable vent. Um, I've got these these three inch uh, screws, these big washers to help compress the weather stripping. And if you see down here, you can see it's pretty squished compared to its normal form. So that should create a good seal so that the only air that's going to escape the gable vent is going to go out through there. So it's just going to push it in there. No air is going to be able to flow back in through there. So it should get a good, good amount of air movement. Um, you see I, my previous shots, I had a, a rafter in the way, so I just, I moved it up. You can see the, uh, the difference there. Got an eight foot one here, had to cut that down to five feet so that there wouldn't be anything obstructing the fan and so I can get a better shot. It was mostly for the airflow, not for shooting this video. Anyway, next step will be uh, hooking up the wiring. The uh, wiring diagram should be pretty simple. Um, but I've never done any in-house wiring, so I'll, it should be fun.